When we released the vintage heat transfer print formula, customers were in love. Uh, they love the hand and the feel of the product. It's barely their feel. It feels just like screen printing, only a little bit softer on the shirt. And the samples that we have uh, been showing off in our booth have a distress in the artwork. And people want to know how to replicate the distress or uh, eroded look inside of your art file. Um, and just to clarify, vintage heat transfers come printed just as your images in your art file. We don't um, add any distress to that unless you request that um, in the art services options as you check out of your product. But we print your artwork exactly as it's submitted. So if you want to distress, we put this quick tutorial together to walk you through adding a distress to your image. And so if you downloaded our free distress packet, there's, there's three patterns in there that you can use. I'm gonna grab the first one and drag it over into my file. It'll be in a layer here. You can just select that image and then dr drag it over or copy and paste it over um, here. Now I have my layers organized and I have everything grouped. I'm going to just pull my layer panel open a little bit for you so you can see uh, exactly what I'm doing. Uh, get a better visual here. So I have all of my art uh, I have it in this one group and I have my distress layer um, right over top of that group in its, in its own um, layer. And to, to knock it out what I'm going to do is select both of those and then I'll go to my transparency window. If you don't have that open, you go to window and go down to transparency. Um, there's a shortcut for it there as well and open up this panel and as you have them both selected, you click make a mask and now you see it didn't exactly do what we were hoping it would do and you have to toggle these options here. So there's clip and there's invert mask. So I'll toggle that I remove clip and now when I click off you'll see that the distress is knocked out of that image and it gives it that good eroded um, weathered look that people are looking to achieve. Um, now if you also notice I'm viewing on a transparent background with the checkerboard and uh, just quick tip um, to show you how to do that there is under view there's high transparency grid which brings the white back and I can't see my white on the screen so you go back to view and show transparency grid and then in your illustrator preferences uh, in the, the document setup you can adjust the the darkness of that grid so you can go back to a medium one if that helps you see better uh, just for contrast so if you, if you have a light image or a dark image you might want to adjust the transparency grid and this checkerboard is just representing shirt color or the transparent areas so that's the first distress pattern it's really it's simple to do that um, now what you can do uh, in from your, your layers panel is you can select this group and let's say you wanted to replace that now what it does is it has this mask linked over here in this layer so to edit the distress you click over here in your transparency window and then your layers will actually open up in the, the of the what is in the mask layer and you can go and select another image um, like this one if I wanted to copy that one across I'll do a copy and paste this time I'll paste that in here and now I have two distress patterns further degrading my image if I want to. And I can toggle those on and off and see the difference uh, in my different distress patterns. Um, and you can uh, add to or delete from this. And if you want to release this, you just click the release and it kicks it back apart. And you can see I have two distress patterns that are open. You can select those and get rid of them again. And I'm going to just do it one more time for you. I'm going to grab the, the Vintage 3 Distress Pattern. I'll copy that. I'll paste it across. So I have my Distress Pattern. I have my group here. I'm going to select my group and my Distress Pattern. I click Make Mask. I uncheck Clip. And then I have my Distress Pattern there. Um, depending on the file type that you use, you may have to toggle the Invert and the Clip buttons to get exactly what you're looking for in the result. Uh, and once you have that set up, you're good to go. And here's the beauty of this. You can still edit this design um, and have the shapes move around if you wanted to adjust it and still have the distress work in the file so you're not actually knocking it out with like a vector knockout or a, um, a pathfinder knockout what you're doing with this is you're putting that mask over top of it and you're keeping all the elements underneath um, still editable so that you can make your adjustments uh, in a live environment and see what the distress is going to look like 
so that's the quick tutorial. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us. We're always available online at fmexpressions.com.